What is going on? It's Medicosis Perfect Snails, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. In the last video, we talked about Staphylococcus saprophyticus. Today, we'll compare between non bullus impetigo and bullus impetigo. So, let's get started. This is the name of the playlist. Please watch these videos in order for maximum understanding and retention. Do you remember when we talked about this? Mention three diseases with a positive Nikolsky sign. And the answer is Staphylococcus scalded skin syndrome, toxic epidermal necrolysis, and pemphigus vulgaris. Of course, there are others. And do you remember when we said that in bullus impetigo, the Nikolsky sign is negative? Which means that if you touch this bulla, it will not rupture because it's a negative sign, but the bulla will rupture with these diseases. How can I get to Staph aureus? It's a gram-positive coccus, catalase-positive, coagulase-positive. Here is the Staphylococcus scalded skin syndrome, which we discussed before. Remember we said what? We have bullae and blisters. So Staph can give you bullus impetigo. But is it because of the staph itself or the toxin made by the staph? The answer is it's the toxin made by the staph. What's the name of that toxin? Exfoliative toxin. So here is the deal. I'll talk about non bullus impetigo first, then I'll talk about bullus impetigo, then I'll compare between the two. Non bullus impetigo could be caused by staph or strep. I start with papules and pustules that coalesce, they gather together. And then pew, they rupture, leaving a honey crust, which is thick and adherent. Don't forget that impetigo could be caused by a complication from an atopic dermatitis. How do you manage non bullous impetigo? Well, it depends. If the disease is limited, go with topical antibiotics such as mepirocin. But what if the disease is diffuse? Give me a systemic antibiotic to reach every crevice of your body, such as cephalexin, which is one of the cephalosporins. Which generation of cephalosporins is cephalexin? Please let me know the answer in the comment section. Next, bullus impetigo, staph aureus only. It's a localized form of the staph scalded skin syndrome caused by the exfoliative toxin, which is made by the staph aureus only, not by the streptococcus pyogenes. Patient appears well for the most part. We have bully and blisters flaccid, they enlarge, and they get filled with yellow fluid, and then blisters that are confined to the primary area of infection. And this is very important because there are many diseases in dermatology that have bully and blister, but those other diseases could be diffuse all over the body. Can you give me an example, medicosis? I can give you two horrible examples. How about Stevens-Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis? They will not be confined to any area. They will go all over the place. Back to the bullus impetigo. Bullus impetigo can rupture honey crusting lesions, just like the non -bullus. These honey crusts have a collarette of scales at the periphery of the lesion. So it's honey surrounded by roses. I hate myself. The treatment is systemic only because this disease is more severe. Please don't forget that the Nikolsky sign is negative with the bullus impetigo. It will also be negative or even inapplicable in the non bullus impetigo because if you do not have a bully, why try to puncture it? What would you puncture? Well, there is no bullet. Mm, go puncture yourself. Now to the comparison between the two. Non bullus, staph or strep, but bullus is staph only. Non bullus, papules and pustules, but the bullus impetigo, bully and blisters. Non bullus, could be topical, could be systemic, but the bullus, systemic only. And here's a mnemonic about bullus impetigo, which we have discussed before. Bullus impetigo is not caused by strep. It is not even caused by every staph species. Only special forms of staph aureus, such as phage type 71, because this is the one that gives you the exfoliative toxin. Bullus impetigo is usually not generalized as compared to Stevens-Johnson syndrome or toxic epidermal necrolysis. Erythema does not extend beyond the border of the blister, unlike Stevens-Johnson and toxic epidermal necrolysis. Nikolsky sign is not positive. If you culture that blister, you'll find staph aureus in the culture. But remember, the disease is not caused by the staph body itself. It's caused by the toxins secreted from the staph. And we talked about this mnemonic before when it comes to the staph scalded skin syndrome. 
the B mnemonic. Remember these two cases which we discussed before in my video called Staph aureus diseases? One has papules and pustules, the other has bully and blisters. The first one has non-bullous impetigo, but the second one has bullous impetigo. Quick review of the characteristics of Staph aureus from Picmonic. Let's go. Staph aureus is gram positive. Here is the gram cracker positive angel. When Picmonic talks about a gram positive, they use an angel. When they talk about a gram negative bacteria, they will use the devil. Staph aureus is catalase positive. Here is the positive cat. Coagulase positive. Here are the positive clogs. Beta hemolytic. Here is the beta fish on a petri dish. Protein A is a virulent factor. Here is protein A, apple. This protein A inhibits phagocytosis. You can see the protein A inhibiting my macrophage. Staph aureus can alter her penicillin binding protein and therefore it becomes resistant, like MRSA. This picmonic describes the diseases caused by Staph aureus and they include what? Impetigo, the emperor tiger. And as you know, Staph aureus can give me non bullous impetigo or bullous impetigo. The impetigo is a skin infection caused by exfoliative toxin from the Staph aureus. Pause and review the virulence factors and the diseases caused by Staph aureus. If you like this video, you can take it to the next level by downloading my antibiotics course, which will teach you about antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic medications. It comes with 40 videos, 70 questions, 35 cases, and you get to download my handwritten notes in a PDF format. Plus, there is a mind map to help you memorize these antibiotics. I also happen to have a toxicology course on my website, plus my brand new surgery course, available at medicosisperfectionetis.com. Or you can even try my brand new surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectionetis.com. And you can get a 30% discount towards any course on my website by using promo code SAVE30. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Schnellus, where medicine makes perfect sense. We are done with staff. In the next videos, we'll talk about streptococci.